YouTube Oz it going the goat house is back and some wild news Sean Payton traded to the Denver Broncos he'll be their head coach and some picks involved some valuable picks involved uh, so we're going to break it down give you my thoughts and grade each team this is a pretty straightforward one didn't have to think much about this one we're already talking a whole lot about this on Twitter as the news broke and we're uh, talking about D'Amico Ryan's uh, going with the Texans as well, what that means for the Texans. So we're always talking on Twitter with news and just my thoughts. Uh, so follow us there. It's on your screen. There's also a link pinned in the comments. There's also links down there for our sponsors. Check it all out. Be much appreciated. So here's the trade. We, ha we had this on Twitter as the news broke, so you guys probably already know uh, the, the trade details. But the Broncos are getting Sean Payton as their head coach, and they will get a 2024 third-round pick. So they're like, all right, they get a, they get a pick with Sean Payton. But it's almost a swap in 2024. They get a third, but they give up a second round pick. Uh, and they do have to give up that uh, first round pick from this year. So if you remember, the Broncos traded multiple first for Russell Wilson. And they got a first back uh, from the Dolphins, which is actually from the Niners. So that, traded, that pick has been traded quite a few times. Uh, and that is now... You know, from the Bradley Chubb trade, that is now going to the Saints there. So pretty wild. Uh, but... I mean, we can just jump right into the grades and why I graded the way I did. The Saints, A+. Plus, I mean, a coach that wasn't coaching them, they just got a first and a second round pick for. They didn't have a first round pick this year. They got one now. And oh, we can discuss all day on what we think they can do with that. They can stay put. Who knows? They Maybe they take a quarterback in the future because they need that. Uh, you know, they could take another receiver. You know, could they – they got the Ohio State receiver last year, Chris Olave. Could they add another one in Jackson Smith and Jigba? There's some pretty good tight ends, but you would think they'd like Juwan Johnson to have him back. Uh, look at defense. They definitely could use a pass rusher of the future. Marcus Davenport is also a free agent. Anya Mott is a free agent, so you can look at the interior perhaps. Even if you bring him back, you can add another guy with that. They love their corners, so I wouldn't put it past to take a, uh, one of these solid corners, but they have they have some solid corners already. So um, mainly looking at that, you know, and then do they trade the pick for maybe a quarterback, you know, so, so it makes the draft more interesting now. There's a new team picking in there. What could they do? Will they actually make that selection? They're not afraid to make a trade. So um, it's going to be very interesting. But, again, a guy that wasn't coaching them, wasn't going to coach them. Dennis Allen was going to be their head coach again this year. Uh, they get a first and a second round pick. There's really no more thinking to do. Uh, you know, I give them an A plus for that. Uh, I didn't, you know, me personally, I wouldn't have traded in a first. I love Sean Payton. I think he's a good coach, but I wouldn't have traded a first and second for him. And that's what the Saints get. So I think they get more than value. Uh, you know, I think they get more than the correct value. So uh, it's definitely an easy A plus. I mean, the only downside, which really doesn't have anything to do with this exact trade, you know, kind of if we're backtracking a little bit, why did Sean Payton decide to retire in the first place? You know, I think people were kind of split. Most people probably thought what I thought. He was kind of getting out of a little bit of a messy situation because they were a little, it was a little messy with the cap space. You know, they, they they put all their chips in to win while Sean Payton was there. They didn't do it. They came close a few times. I mean, they won a Super Bowl, but I'm talking about recent years. Uh, you know, so I think he left because it was kind of a messy situation. It was kind of getting messier. But th there is a light at the end of the tunnel here for the Saints coming up. Um, but that it kind of does look because like, he's still interested in coaching, and it's you know not the Saints here. So, but he was interested in coaching Russell Wilson in his contract. So I thought that was interesting. But yeah, that's just other thoughts. It's kind of besides the point there. You know, this again, I, I don't. There's really nothing else to say. But the Saints got a first and second round pick for a guy that wasn't coaching them and wasn't going to coach them. I think you build championship teams through the draft. So it, it helps that you get draft picks out of that. Uh, for the Broncos, yeah, I think this is pretty straightforward too. I do not like this for the Broncos. I'm giving them an F uh, for this one uh, for multiple reasons. I'm Right when the trade happened and I see the details, I mean, I already, I pretty much voiced my opinion on it in videos and on Twitter mostly that I wasn't a fan of trading for Sean Payton, especially what they were asking for. Uh, I didn't think they were going to get have to give up a first and a second either. I thought it would be like a first and a third at the maximum. Um, so I, I already voiced my opinion. that I kind I kind of got it out there that I was going to probably flunk a team uh, for, for doing that. Uh, but there's so many. And I'm trying to think here. You know, right when the trade happened, I kind of knew like, all right, this is probably an A plus and an F. But I sit there and I really think about it. I really think about the positives and negatives here. And I'm trying to find a way not because I don't give the Fs out often. I'm trying to find a way not to, you know. How could I find something positive? And I guess there is something positive that the Broncos will be better than they were this past year. 
But does that make this trade great? You know, they better be better than where they were last year. I'm going to count on them being better. Um, but the more and more I thought about it, more details, more thoughts that I had, they were just mainly negative. Um, I don't even know where to start. You know, I mean, trading for, I mean, first off, we don't even know if Peyton was their first choice. It felt like Harbaugh. And now Rap Sheet is reporting that it, they tried to get D'Amico Ryans today. Schefter saying that's false. But we know at one point they liked Harbaugh most. At one point it felt like D'Amico Ryans was their lead candidate. I mean, that was reported by Broncos guys last week. Uh, and at one point it felt like they liked Dan Quinn a lot. So, um, yeah, do they even get their top option? They end up with another option for, for that cost of draft picks. You know, I think the big thing here is... Well, I mean, they look desperate, you know, desperate to get a, a coach, desperate for Russell Wilson to possibly work, you know, trading picks for Sean Payton. Uh, but I think, so, yeah, being desperate, but the lack of confidence actually in there, I, I think this shows a big lack of confidence. Like, you cannot, you don't trust yourself, your judgment to go pick a coach uh, that is going to make this, help this team, uh, you know, produce the way that they're supposed to. There's a lot of young coaches taking over. A lot of guys are succeeding right now. They're on their first job, you know, as a head coach, whether it was, you know, I'm not saying this, this last year, year before, whatever it is, they're on their first job. It's a def, it's definitely, the game is definitely changing. There's different style of play that's taking over here. So there's a lot of options out there. Uh, I know a lot of coaches didn't want the Broncos, but I, I keep going back to that. You couldn't find a guy that kind of fit today's game, that could have helped this team, that didn't cost draft picks. So I thought there was a kind of a lack of confidence. Like, all right, hey, we can't get this guy, so hey, let's go trade a bunch of picks for this guy because he was a good coach before, right? You know, and that's the other thing too. I mean, Sean Payton is a really good coach, but at the same time, it's also, you know, it's been a long time since that Super Bowl, and what do I remember from recent years? Uh, they always came up short, you know, a little underwhelming. You know, you thought they would get a little further than where they got, you know, so they were kind of they were kind of upset in the playoffs when they had a pretty loaded team. Again, they put all their chips in. It's why they're the Saints, they're in the situation they're in when it comes to the cap space now, uh, you know, and, and they, they I know it's not all on Sean Payton, but they didn't get the job done then. So it's not like you're getting the sure thing, you know, head coach. Uh, and, and again, going back to the value, what the main thing, you know, what I usually grade trades off of is the value. I think giving up a first and a second round pick, of course, to get a third back, but a first and a second round pick for a guy that wasn't your top choice and a guy that wasn't coaching for the other team. And then, you know, was Sean Payton going to go anywhere else? We, we heard that he kind of was good with going back to Fox for, for a year. And then he uh, could find a better coaching job next year. There was some thought that he could be interested in the Cardinals, or the Cardinals could be interested in him. But it really felt like Broncos are bust. It really felt like Broncos are nothing. So did the Broncos absolutely have to trade a first and second? You're telling me the Saints just wouldn't have done it for any less? It's hard for me to believe. Um, and if and if and if they weren't going to do it, then it wasn't meant to be. That's kind of my thinking with that. Like you don't normally don't trade. Uh, you know, for coaches, like, you know, for, you don't trade for that valuable picks for coaches, um, you know, so uh, there's just so many reasons. And there's people, you know, to me, the only, based on what they gave up, you know, and based on what the goal is, they got a, a coach that won a Super Bowl in the past, they got a quarterback that won a Super Bowl, you know, they, their goal is to win a Super Bowl, which everyone's goal is to win a Super Bowl. Uh, but based on what they gave up, like, to me, for me to say I'm wrong, for me to bump up my grade, uh, I'm they're gonna have to win the Super Bowl. Not this year, you know, in the Sean Payton era with Denver. How long is that gonna be? So, uh, and then some people were saying on because I kind of said this on Twitter. Some people were saying, "Well, we just need to get the you know the Broncos haven't been able to get to the playoffs." And like you know that's true, they haven't been able to get to the playoffs. But that's not what the trade's about. You don't go make the trade to just just get to the playoffs and be a first round exit or second round exit. I mean, would you rather have a first and second round pick or be a first or second round exit? That's I, you don't need. I don't need to hear your answer on that. You know. Um, so it, the move is to win the Super Bowl. So that's one part of it. Uh, you know, you, you know, you don't make this trade just to make the playoffs. And another part, again, kind of going back to you couldn't find another coach that can just get you to the playoffs. That it was the only goal, which is not. You know, you couldn't find another coach that can get the, this talent on this team. I like this team's roster. You know, you couldn't find a coach that didn't co cost draft picks and it maybe fit today's era a little bit more. Uh, that could get you to the playoffs, and it kind of goes back to the lack of confidence and judgment from them. Like they 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 didn't trust themselves to find the right guy. Like it, it's just, 
it's a little mind blowing, a little mind blowing. I mean, at the end of the day, which I'm not really grading uh, for the most part here, but at the end of the day, the Broncos get a solid coach that uh, maybe more than solid coach that is going to help them be better than where they were this year, but you would hope so because they were pretty bad this year. So that's the positive. But what I mainly grade is the value of the trade. They go at first and second is a little bit much. Uh, and then just what else could they have done? And I think there are, there are a lot of other things they could have done that you wouldn't have had to you know trade those picks away. So um, it's obvious the goal uh, with the Broncos making that trade last year, Russell Wilson, uh, and the trade with Sean Payton. It's obvious the, the one and only goal is Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, that's if the, the, you know, for those trades to work out, they're going to have to win a Super Bowl. Now, I guess they're not necessarily linked. Uh, and I'm not talking about just this year, too. It's not a one year thing. But I'm uh, maybe the maybe Peyton and Russell Wilson are not necessarily linked because Russell Wilson could just not work out uh, and he can maybe and he won't win it. Maybe he won't win a Super Bowl with the Broncos. Uh, but then Sean Payton could 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 still be there. Uh, and then maybe find that quarterback of the future or whether it's uh, drafts and his using his knowledge a prospect with his knowledge on prospects, evaluating the prospects, or he can bring his experience in. You know, I guess it'd be probably be a more likable place to bring in somebody else down the line, and they could possibly win a Super Bowl that way, and that'll make it work out. But that's kind of a lot of ifs. You know, if they are able to do that, if Sean Payton is still around, I mean, he kind of abandoned. It's another negative too. He kind of just ditched the Saints. Like he was partly responsible for you know putting themselves in the hole, and they were willing to go in that hole because they were all chips all in. We're winning the Super Bowl this year, and they couldn't do it. They actually had a few years we thought maybe they could do it. Uh, you know, and he, you know, it's not just the front office there. He's partly responsible and he kind of bailed on that just like that. So, you know, that also is a part of this as well. Like, you know, you're going to get a guy and maybe Russell Wilson's just still really bad. And then, you know, there's not much they can do. There's nobody they can really get. Um, you know, this would be the free of the off season to add a better quarterback perhaps, but maybe down the line there isn't, you know, isn't. And then maybe Sean Payton's kind of had enough and, you know, I kind of want to get out of here. So, you know, I'm not really counting on that happening, but I think it's a possibility. So the more and more I thought, like I said, I, you know, I'm trying to find positives to bump this grade up. Cause I, whoever was going to get Sean Payton, if it if you had told me of a first and second, a long time ago, I was probably, you know, I was going to give him an F, but I was trying to find a way to bump that up, but I just kept, kept, kept coming up with more negatives. And I, again, the biggest thing for me is not so much. You know, my first thought was it, man, this is desperate and that's not good. But my biggest thing that I've that I've thought of is just the, again the lack of confidence in your judgment. You know, you couldn't find anybody else that fits today's era. I keep saying it, but fits today's game, like the other guys that are succeeding, young coaches that could get this team to the playoffs. And that is the reason why. You know, because there's some people out there that are going to say, well, if they get to the playoffs, even if they win a playoff game, uh, this is a major win. And I'm actually, I'm not going to say no, it's not. I'm going to say, I'm going to say not, not yet. It's still to be determined. If they make a big leap this year, make the playoffs and everything, then it's like, all right, there's some hope. Could they be a Super Bowl team the year after? But then Russell Wilson's going to probably keep declining, you know, so it's tough for me. It's kind of a Super Bowl or bust couple of moves that the Broncos have made. And, you know, I think they're a talented team and they, they could get to the playoffs next year. Um, you know, but I don't think a lot of t- people are gonna are be picking them to win the Super Bowl. So that's why that's why it's tough. So if you want me, that's, that's why it's a tough part here. People, you know, anytime I grade anything, you know, even if I give one team an A and one team like an A minus, the the fans that gave me that I gave an A minus to, it even happens then. It's just I'm used to it. Um, you know, even the fans that g- uh, give the A minus to their team, they're like, "You'll be wrong. It's gonna be an A plus." So we'll probably get that here. But for me to say I'm wrong and for me to move it up, they gotta win the Super Bowl because that's what this is. So, uh, and not just this year, it could be down the line, which with Sean Payton at some point. So, because um, again, kind of going back to it, which if they made the playoffs in their first and second round exits throughout these next few years, again, would you rather? Would I rather have a first and a second round pick or just be playoff exits? I would much rather have that young player possibly star because again I'm trusting my judgment I'm trusting I'm confident I'm trusting my judgment that I can draft very well that I can get use that draft pick to get a special piece because they're all over the NFL and teams are drafting them left and right 
I'm very confident that I'm hitting on that draft pick and that guy's going to help my team because he's only going to be 20 or so years old when he's coming in. He's going to be able to help my team for a long time. So uh, kind of just going back to my biggest issue with this, it just feels like a, a, just a lack of confidence you know, from the Broncos. It's like, all right, go get that guy because we know he's good. We don't know if these guys are good. It's not really how you're supposed to do things, you know, in the NFL, you know, and then we're going to trade a first and second for it at the same time. So I, I, as you can tell, I have a lot of problems and I'm coming with more problems as I'm thinking about it with Denver Broncos here, but, um, They'll be better. They'll be better. It's something to watch here. It'll be very interesting. The, the draft with the Saints now, the Broncos don't have a first-round pick anymore. They moved on from the, their star pass rusher to get that first-round pick. Now they have a coach instead. You know, and I'd rather have Bradley Chubb or Sean Payton. I'd rather have Bradley Chubb. I mean, that's, you know, unless Sean Payton was this guy that was winning Super Bowl after Super Bowl, or even if he was, you know, won the Super Bowl, or, you know, he's getting the NFC Championship game pretty consistently, um, you know, then that, that, even if he wasn't going to Super Bowl, if he was just consistently getting there, but, you know, they continue to kind of get upset and go, they were early exits when we expected more from them. I think the Bucks, the more recent one, which we knew that game go either way. And I picked the Bucks in that game, but the Vikings a couple times, um, which they did get the better of the Vikings, uh, you know, actually, uh, was a while back and they won a Super Bowl, but, um, it's, you know, it's, it's tough. It's, it's, it's a, it's a risky move, bold move here. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm pretty damn firm on those grades, though, and was pretty much before it happened because you just, you know, you just know. You, you know, you just understand what, what the situation is here. So, uh, yeah, we have full offseason content here. We have playoff coverage as well. We'll have a live stream later this week, which is going to be a lot of fun, Super Bowl picks and award show and more Q&A probably. So join us for all that. Like, subscribe, turn on. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. That's going to do it. Goodbye.